Hey everybody, it's Chris, and I am here today to showcase a product, um, actually a couple of products from the Hippie Crafter, and they are a small family brand that um, had reached out to me a couple of months ago and asked if I would be interested in doing a YouTube video or two with some of their products. So when I looked at what they had to offer, my first thought was this is the perfect combination of products for someone who is just getting started in paint pouring and doesn't know exactly for sure how much they want to get involved in it, um, if they'll really love it. So I kind of feel like this is probably like a great place for you to start without investing a ton of money into it. Now, I will warn you that you will probably buy these products and you will probably fall in love with acrylic pour painting and then I can't help you after that because it seriously is an amazing art form and I've been doing it for a few years now and I just love it. You, you just never know what you're going to get. So I think that's what keeps it so interesting to me. So the products that I chose were their watercolor paper. Um, this is an 11 by 15 paper. It is 140 pound paper. What I've done is just to tape it to a box lid that's slightly bigger than the paper. And this way I can pick it up and move it around without having to worry about um, picking up the paper and kind of messing up my piece of work. The other thing that I chose was the acrylic paint pouring set. Now these paints are already pre-mixed and they're ready to pour. So you don't have to worry about like how much paint do I mix with pouring medium? What is my pouring medium? What am I going to get good results with? They've already figured all that out for you. So I'm going to put links to the two products that I'm showing to you um, down in the description of my video so that you can find these products if you're interested in trying them. Now the box that I chose was a 24 set or a 24 color set of paint. Now there are metallics and there are um, just regular colors of paint in there. Now, if you've been watching me for a while um, and hopefully you're new to me, if you're like looking for videos on how to get started in paint pouring, but if you haven't been watching me, then I will tell you that I love metallics. I love anything that shimmers. I love anything that can add a little bit of bling to my project. So when I saw that there were metallic colors in there, I was like, sweet, this is gonna be really cool. So basically I'm using the watercolor paper. I'm using the paint pouring set. And then I've got a little five ounce cup here. This is just a plastic cup that I use. Um, today we're going to do what is called a flip cup. So what I like to do with my flip cup is to use a little bit of WD-40 silicone spray. Now, you will hear that WD-40 can actually, or silicone, I'm sorry, silicone can actually create cells into your forms of work. I don't use it for the cells. The only thing that I'm using it for is for my paint to release. So for me, it's kind of like Pam for painting. So this is just gonna help my paints to release from the cup when I flip it over. So I've kind of shook these up a little bit. Um, the colors that I've chosen are the titanium white, metallic silver, metallic blue, rose, and lemon yellow. Now, there are tons of colors in this set. Um, let me see if I can show you real quickly. I was very um, surprised and happy about all of the colors that are in this set. So there are tons of colors. There's blues and pinks and greens and turquoise, orange, um, basic colors. And you can always mix if you want to like have a different color than what's in the set. But let me explain to you kind of why I chose what I did. The rose obviously is going to give us a pink. If I have the lemon yellow next to it, then it's very possible that I could end up getting kind of an orangey or a peachy color. If the lemon yellow is next to the metallic blue, then I could get some green out of it. And if the rose and the metallic blue are together, then I'm going to get some purple out of it. So I figured that with just these five colors, it should give me a really nice color palette when I'm done. So I always like to start with a little bit of white. So I've already kind of mixed these up a little bit. And I'm just going to pour some white down here in the bottom of my cup. Now I'm not saying that I'm not going to use more white, but I'm just going to start with the white. And then next I want some of the metallic blue. Now I am mixing these just to make sure that we have a nice mix on them. And I'm going to go ahead and add that down there into my white. Wow, that's a pretty color. 
I'm kind of excited about this. I think this is gonna turn out pretty cool. And then we're going to put some rose in next to that. Another beautiful color, kind of like a magenta. Now the idea of a flip cup is that you just pour your paints down in and you don't care how you do it. We're just gonna pour them in. Next, we're gonna do the lemon yellow. And you can see that we're already getting kind of some cells and kind of some mixing of the paints, which is cool. And then next, I want some of this metallic silver. Oops. We don't want those chunky, so if you have a little bit on the edge, this one probably leaked a little bit in shipping, so just wanna make sure I don't have chunks in my paint. And then that's silver. So for this size of paper, I would probably do four to five ounces of paint. Um, and one of the things that I think is kind of cool about this, what my thought is for those who are starting, just starting out, I'm putting some more of the white in. I think this will be really great because when you're finished with it, I know that it's just on watercolor paper, but the cool thing is, is that you can trim it down and then you can put it into a floating frame or perhaps just in any frame that you might have sitting around the house. So you can trim it down to a size that you need for what you have available to you. And as I said, this is a great way for someone new to start. All right, so if I don't get to the edge of my paper, I'm okay with that. Okay, let's see if I can give you a nice up close picture. Look at those colors, aren't they pretty? So you can see that I've already gotten I've already gotten some kind of melding of my colors there. So flip cup is exactly flip cup. We're gonna flip it over and see what we get. Now, as I said, there are tons of colors in this box. These are just some colors that I thought would be really pretty. And by choosing the yellow and the rose and the blue, hopefully we'll get some kind of different colors in there as well. Okay, so you can see kind of here on the side, see how my paint released? That's because I used the WD-40. And then here she comes off of the bottom of the cup. So we're just gonna kind of let that release a little bit because I want all of my paint to be on the paper when I lift the cup up, if I can. I don't wanna waste any of that beautiful paint. So the other cool thing about this too is with it being pre-mixed, you don't have to worry about the consistency of it. It's like I said, they have figured everything out for you. All right, so my paint's still kind of dripping down a little bit, but I'm gonna go ahead and pull it. Um, how I like to do it is kind of go up here and then pull it down just like that. You can see I've got a little bit of paint in the inside of the cup, so I'm just gonna kind of let that go down. I like to put that kind of on the outside edges, and what that does is just kind of help me to stretch it out. Look at that pretty green. See, I didn't have green in there. And look at the pretty oranges. Very pretty colors. The other thing um, that I find helpful is a torch. This is just a little culinary torch. You can see that I've got a lot of bit bubbles in on the surface of my paint. And the reason I have bubbles is because I mixed it up. Um, I then poured it into a cup, caused more bubbles, and then I flipped it over. So this paint has had a lot of activity. So I'm just gonna use my torch. And I'm gonna hold it up kind of high. And what I'm going to do is pop those bubbles. Bubbles are not always your friend when it comes to painting. Now I don't want to get too close because I don't want to cook the top of the paint. You can also get some cool effects with a torch. Let's see if I can show you what happened here. Look at the little chain that I have. That's because of the heat of the torch. All right so I'm gonna take this and I'm just gonna kind of start moving it around and we'll see what we get. It's kind of a little rainbow effect, isn't it? I have to say that I am very surprised at the really neat effects from this paint because I wasn't sure with it being pre-mixed what types of things are in the paint to allow it to do some fun stuff. All right, so I'm just gonna kind of go down here towards the top. I really don't want to miss that green. I think that green is really cool. So just gonna kind of slowly let it creep down there. And 
Now I wouldn't worry too much about your paint. Your paint might ripple, or excuse me, your paper might ripple a little bit, and that's okay. I think as it dries, it will flatten right back out again. All right, so let's see what we have here. That is very, very interesting. There are some very cool things going on here. You can see I've got a little bit of turquoise coming through up here in this green. I'm just gonna go ahead and lightly blow just to pop those bubbles again. Oopsies, blew a little too hard there. All right. So you can see that I kind of have a, an irregular shape, but I don't mind it. I think that, um, you know, another reason for doing the painting this way because now I can trim down what I like. If I wish to, I can actually leave the white edges on some of it, but there are some very cool effects in this. I think we may have to try another type of painting. So this is just a flip cup. This is a super easy technique for someone that's brand new to try. Let me see if I can show you some of the cool effects that we got out of it. And I honestly think that this little guy is going to continue to change because down here on this corner where we have all this yellow, do you see that rose kind of popping through? So I'm gonna set this to the side and I'm gonna wait probably about 30 minutes. And at the end of the video, I will show you another picture of this and we'll see just how much it has changed. Okay guys, if you have any questions, please let me know. As I said, I will put the links for the Hippie Crafter down in my description of my video. Please let me know if you have any questions and I'm happy to help. And if you've not already done so, I'd really appreciate it if you would like and subscribe to my channel. I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.